Quick sale and repurchase of Bitcoin may lower your taxes. Next on your 4 Minute Crypto Daily News. Hello and welcome to 4 Minute Crypto. Now, if you enjoy the 4 Minute Crypto show, please consider showing your support. Take a look at 4minutecrypto.com slash sponsor and see if there's a sponsorship level that works for you. Your support will help more than you realize. Now, today's show is from a post by Maria Hewitt at Cointelegraph.com. But before I start, I do want to remind you, as always, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Now, in an article published on December the 21st, the Wall Street Journal has suggested investors should sell and then repurchase their Bitcoin as a strategy to save on taxes. And they suggest that the only good thing about investing in cryptocurrency during 2018 was the tax break. Now, as of 2014, the Internal Revenue Service has treated cryptocurrency as investment property like stocks and bonds, and not as currency. Cryptocurrency users can allegedly benefit from the special and often favorable taxation policy the United States gives to investments. For all investments in the U.S., whether in stocks or in crypto, short-term gains and losses apply to holdings held a year or less and any gains are taxable at a rate as high as 40.8%. It's 40.8%. Long-term gains and losses, meanwhile, max out at 23.8%. Now, while losses can be used to offset taxes on gains for all investments, the potential tax relief may be even greater than for traditional assets in the case of cryptocurrency because of a quirk in the U.S. tax rules that permitted traders to sell and invest their cryptocurrency right away in full respect for the law. This is because cryptocurrencies are exempt from the so-called wash sale rules, which prohibit capital loss deductions when investors purchase a security, such as a stock, within 30 days of selling as a loser. Jim Calvin, a CPA and cryptocurrency specialist at Deloitte Tax, told the Wall Street Journal that as little as an hour, and certainly a day after booking a loss, is enough time to wait for that tr- so that traders remain on the right side of the law if they choose to repurchase their cryptocurrency. Robert Gordon, a tax strategist from 21st Securities, advised the Wall Street Journal that whether or not people intend to repurchase cryptocurrency, traders can benefit from e- either harvesting all of their losses or even just up to the amount of the sum total of their taxable gains from cryptocurrency or otherwise. Data released ahead of the close of the last tax year indicated that just 0.04% of tax filers were reporting capital gains from cryptocurrency investments to the IRS. Back in July of 2017, the IRS required that the major U.S. cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase hand over detailed information on every one of its then over 500,000 users in an attempt to prevent tax evasion. However, A court order reduced this number to around 14,000 high transacting users. Now, I do want to tell you that I personally am not a tax advisor, but I do want you to know about this article. So what do you think of this tax strategy? Let me know your thoughts on Twitter, why I'm at Gary Leland. And don't forget to join me every weekday for a new episode of 4 Minute Crypto. This is a CryptoCousins.com production.